title graphic into this particular shot. So with the 3D tracker, I can come in here and actually select a point, and this basically allows me to select three points that represent a plane in space along the shot here. So I'm going to find something that estimates out where the hood of the car is, so something maybe in here. We'll go ahead and select that. I could add more points to make this more accurate, but I'm just going to do this very quickly. I'll go ahead and create a text layer. Within this, I'm going to take the text layer and just do a quick uh, transform and rotation on this. So we'll orient this up. I'll scale it down just a bit so it's more fitting on the car. And now using the new ray tracing, I can come in here and I can change my viewing mode to a ray trace 3D mode. And when I do this, I can open up the material options and I can start to add an extrusion to this text. And I'll turn on something called uh, fast draft mode so we can kind of see this. It doesn't look like much now, but let's go ahead and add a light source to our shot here. And so now we have a, a light in the scene. I can kind of move this around. You can see how the text is being affected by the light. All right, I don't have time to really dial this in here, but just to get the, uh, the idea of this, I'm gonna go ahead and just preview this real quick so we can see it. And now when I go back over to Premiere Pro, I can actually see this running inside of Premiere Pro as well. So that's